That's a good move. Um, let's just go back. I have all the time in the world. That's the second part of the equation. H4 is a move, but it looks sketchy. I don't like it. I think I'm just going to reroute my knight, probably. Reroute the knight to one of these squares where it can target the pawn. Oh, wait. What was that? Yeah, what am I doing? Okay, let's just go back. Let's just reset and take a deep breather. Take a second to breathe and then focus. Queen B6 is also a move. Oh! <laughs> That's a threefold? That might be the weirdest... Wow. That might be the weirdest threefold I've ever seen. Oh, he plays Carl Kahn. I did not expect that. Um, play something weird with like Queen E2 or something. I don't know. It's just something to play. Oh, by the way, you know what's funny? We covered the article earlier about Sokolov, right? So we covered this article about Sokolov, and wasn't Sokolov talking about this Karo Khan structure? So it'd be really funny if we get like Bishop G4, Bishop F3, and we get a Karo Khan structure, and then I'm gonna try to fling the pawns on the king side and probably lose. That would be a good meme. That, that would be a great meme, actually. But yeah, as far as Hans goes, obviously, um, obviously for Hans, I, I'm 100% sure that he, he was just tilted out of his mind after what happened. And hey, can I blame him? No, of course not. I mean, very, very understandable. What a bad pairing. I mean, at this point, I'm four and a half out of five. I mean, all pairings are going to be bad. I mean, people who are on four, four or five points, I mean, these are good players. Um, why did I do this, actually? I mean, I have queen b5 as an idea. Actually, why did I just go queen b5? I'm... Oh, kind of dubious. I think it's sort of Eleonardo for the 16. It's just, yeah, just chess. Um, I'll just castle here. If there's about five, I think I play d4. I'm going to play rook d1. Idea h3, idea d4 here. I mean, I'm going to go, hmm, what do I want? I think I'm going to play knight a3. I want to go h3. I also want to go d4. I also maybe go d3. I'm not really sure where I'm pushing the pawn. I'm pushing the pawn somewhere. I just don't know which square exactly. Okay, so he plays knight d5. So now, I mean, I assume I should play h3 to kick the bishop. Because bishop h5, knight c2 and d4 makes sense. I mean, d3 is always completely fine as well. I think I'm going to go knight c2. I really want to go d4. Ah, so he does play rook c8. So he actually gives me d4 gratis. I think I'd be insane not to play it. So let's just play it. Hopefully this isn't some kind of huge blunder. No, knight c3 I just take. I always play g4 here maybe. And then I have knight e5 and... Ooh, actually... Wait, do I have rook d5 here? Wait. Oh my gosh, wait. Do I just have rook d5? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Did... Wait a second. Queen b4, rook e2. Queen b4, queen b4, c b4. Takes, 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 rookie eight, queen before trade, trade. I mean, this looks like two. Trade, trade, bishop f1. Yay! Yeah, I think this is just free material, unless I'm crazy. Although I gave him d4. Ah. Maybe queen g5 was better. Oh, he plays rookie two, um, which is logical move. I don't think it's particularly good though. Um, the question is, how do I how do I activate? B three is a move. I don't really like it. Actually, I can't play B three. He's got bishop E four, so I have to play bishop F one or something else. Or do I go bishop? No, bishop D two. He has bishop E four. Wait, bishop d2, bishop e4, bishop c3, maybe? Bishop d2, rook c c2. I just know that if I play this correctly, I'm winning here. That's why I'm taking my merry old time. Bishop f1's gotta be right. And then bishop e3. 
I think A3 looks right. Because this is a, this is now a very technical end game. That's that's the reason that it that it matters. It's a very technical end game. So even though I'm down on time, if I play this correctly, I mean I should be better. Ninety five maybe. Let's go here. Bishop E four. I want to go ninety seven and ninety five. That's my idea. Although bishop d4 was better, actually. Why didn't I play bishop d4? That was a better move. Is rook b3, knight d2 trapped the rook? Ah, that was a much better move, but whatever. Yeah, because now I have to go for this line, which this isn't what I wanted to play. Did I just blunder d4? Oh, no, I've got knight b6 at the end. I can take and play knight b6. Wait, does wait, what? Knight B Yeah, he missed Knight B6. And then Bishop E3, yeah. Oh wait, there's Did I not think long enough here? Wait. Ah, just great. I didn't think long enough. <laughs> okay, think, think, think. D5, Rook D1. Yeah, I have to make a draw. Very poor. Yeah, it's just a draw. He's got Rook F1. Terrible technique by me. I didn't think long enough on D4. I should have thought longer. Yeah, it's just a draw. Horrible. I mean, that's very disappointing. I mean, this is completely winning. If I go bishop d4, I win the game. Oh, knight d5 was actually correct? Oh, knight d3, not knight d7. That was actually... Ah. Yeah, but even here, bishop f4, I just, I, I, I just stopped my calculation after knight b6. I didn't think beyond knight b6. I'm like, okay, I have knight b6 and I win, but he's got rook d8 and then it's just, yeah, it's just a draw. Although, wait, actually... Oh, wait, no, I can... Wait, I can actually go f3? Although this is actually kind of, mm, this is better, but it's not winning exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I it's just ridiculous by me to not even think here. I just, I was like, okay, I can just take. Bishop about four is still probably winning. Yeah. Thank you so much to Ethan Thug. Thank you so much to Nibsta. Thank you to Witt Kitten and Juris Corp. Playing well, but that was very poor by me. Yeah, I probably, I, I think I used too long on Rook D5. I should have used like 10 seconds less on Rook D5 and just gone for it, but that happens it is what it is yeah okay five out of six not a, not terrible by the way it's still fine um we do have a game on draken who's on five out of five let's see his game do you think you have a chance against that one wc if maybe you did win against Ding of the candidates i mean it's all in the past i don't think about such things or we can take the other tack which is i'm completely devastated i'll never recover from it thank you so much to cabin for the two months thank you so much to wanderlust for the prime appreciate it. thank you so much um why not play it out? I mean, it's bishops opposite color. I mean, it's same number of pawns, opposite color bishops. There's just nothing happening. Nothing happening. Yeah. No, I should have won that game. I mean, he just blundered, but uh, frustrating. Uh, that one's kind of annoying. Yeah. Well, I play the next candidates. Um, we'll see. I have to qualify. Yeah, it's still blitz, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, on Dragon wins, so he's on six. So he's got a perfect score. Eric won his game. Very nice. He's going to have to play one of these top guys now. I miss the oldie guard. This new devastating guard breaks my heart to watch. Yeah. True, true, true. Okay. I, I mean, now I got to win every game. I mean, even in one more draw, maybe I have a chance, depending on what happens at the top. But it's not looking great. So I probably need to win every game here. Jose, it's a bar, though. It's not Jose Martinez. I'm going to play my same old silliness here. Plays H6. Um, thing is, it's also hard for black to play this too, though, after E4. Like, 
plays d4. Um, I guess I'm going to go to d1. I don't know which square is right. Um, I'm going to continue to develop my pieces here. I'm just going to wait to see what he's doing on the king side exactly first. Okay, plays e5. I'll play h3 here. I'm going to go b3. If b5, then I'm definitely going f4, f5. I'm basically trying to see what his plan is. So I'll play a4, a6. Now the question is, is f4 a good move here? And I think my assumption is that it is, because I have f5, right? f4, c4, fe5. I mean, f4, c4. Hmm. Wait a second. Let's think about this. So knight b2 is kind of an interesting move too, because now I, now I grip the squares. And he still has to decide what he's doing on the king side, because he still can't castle. I can castle. I can also play f4 here. And he's also over-opened up the... He's also over-pressed on the queen side, so he can't ever castle this way. So he has to decide what he's doing with his king here. Thank you so much, so much to that Chit Town dude for the six months. Thank you to It's Me Hako for the prime. Um, My assumption is I should take... Yeah, my assumption is I should open this wing up, because now the wing's open and I control the lane. And now I can always go f4. He still can't castle. This is his problem. And I, if I go f4, I should just be better here. It's a very strange position, though. Very, very strange position. Thank you so much, Slimetry, for the 14 months. Thank you so much, Slimetry. Appreciate it. Thank you. He plays c4, so I'll take. He'll take. Question is, do I take with the knight or the pawn? Also not an obvious decision here. Um, my instinct is that I should take with the knight. That's just my instinct. But I'm going to take with a pawn. Mm, ignore my instinct and take the other way. Again, he still has problems. Like, I still don't know what he's doing exactly on the king side here. Like, he still can't castle. H5 allows f4, I think. I remain very unconvinced by his play here. Now, he's asking me to play f4. I can also just go c5 here in knight d3. Which looks kind of just... Very attractive. Just c5 and knight d3, and I think I'm just better here. And again, sooner or later, he's going to have to castle. And then he's going to get murdered on the king's side. Yeah, I'm going to go f4, I assume, here. Maybe I misplayed this action. Hmm. Let's go here. Castle, I mean... Okay, if I don't play f4 here, I don't know what I'm doing exactly. If it goes g6, I do not expect that. Um. I'll take and play g4, knight g3 myself. Oh, wow. Okay, so now he's giving me knight g3, knight f5, and I think this is actually very scary for black. Like, he's got to deal with his knight f5. I get the knife to f5. I think it's very scary. Very, very... Okay, so he plays rook a8. Definitely a move. It's clearly a panic move, though. Very clearly a panic move. Um, Should be better here. Take, and let's take, and play like rook a6. Hit the knight. Goes knight b8. I guess I go here. Target the knight. I should win this game. I mean, he's got a terrible bishop on g7 that's walled in by the pawns. Got a bad bishop. Knights aren't very good. I mean, he's begging me to play knight g3 and just go right after him. I mean, I can also play rook b1. Um, What is this actual idea, though? I'm kind of confused. The idea to play knight c6 or what? I'm, I do still need to be kind of precise. So I think I'm going to play rook a1. Because now on knight c6, I have rook a8. And I still have knight g3, knight f5 at all times. I mean, as long as he doesn't get some kind of weird tactic. I mean, it goes queen there. Which I understand. Uh, oh, do I, oh, did I miss Bishop A5 there? Maybe Bishop A5 is actually just winning on the spot. Let's think about this. Knight G3, Knight C5. Bishop F1, maybe? 
Again, I'm much better here, but I, I'm like, I'm struggling to find the line. Not bishop b4, bishop a5 is wrong. Maybe it's just rook a8 or something. Let's just go here. Go here. Because takes, I just take. And I'm still guarding the rooks. Let's go here. I mean, if I get knight f5, I'm in. Go here. And I have rook a5 now. This should be winning. Oh, uh, wait. I see. C6. Queen c6, bishop f8. Bishop b4, cd7, knight d7. 8. Wait, I can't. Okay, whatever. Just move. What am I doing? Yeah, now I just take. Now I have two extra. Yeah, this is just easy. I've just got. I've got two rooks and a bishop for the queen. Yeah, it's very easy. Um. There's no stalemate, right? No, I don't see stalemate. I just block with the knight. No checks. Easy peasy. Still no stalemate. He has a pawn push. If he didn't have the pawn, there would be a stalemate, but he doesn't. It doesn't work, unfortunately. Okay, we got the win. Thank you so much to Destro for the 17 months. Again, as you see, this is why you don't need a queen. Um, and we get the win. We'll take and just play like, I don't know, e6 here. Keep it simple. All right, I think I'll just go here, maybe knight d7. I should have taken on e4 for the, um, I should take on e4 for the classic, uh, I'll take on e4 for the classic Sokolov article memes, right? Because Sokolov talked about the structure, although I do have g6, without, without g6, I mean, with g6 is a little bit different, but for the Sokolov fans who were here at the beginning, um, we, there was a, there was an article we covered about the uh, chess Olympiad. It was uh, where Ivan Sokolov talks about the structure and how at some point, like in the old days, you were taught to push on the queen side or push in the center. Those are the breaks, and how nowadays computers say you oftentimes you fling on the other side of the board altogether. So this is partially for the memes. Let's play rookie eight here. I've been getting spam invites from the meetup. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Maybe go queen b6. I mean, the problem here is that basically if I go e5, it's petering out into nothingness. That's actually the problem. So I'm just going to go a4 here. So funny you just subscribed. Um, I don't like a3, actually. I feel like it's a little bit loosening. Again, e5 is always a move, but it just peters out into a draw. So I guess let's just go like, hmm. Yay! Just go here. Why not? Half is interesting, just release a video on chess. Yes, I did hear about that. I will cover that a little bit later on. It was bishop d6. Reasonable move. I mean, no reason that it's bad. Um, Do I play queen d5 or not? And eh, why not? If it's a draw, it's a draw. But it's it should there should be some imbalance here, I feel like. Go here. I feel like there's enough of an, an imbalance here that the game goes on. Okay, so, I mean, I guess I trade and take. I mean, he has a tough decision here which way to capture. Still headed towards a draw, though. Yeah, the problem is this man, this guy just wants to draw literally. Literally wants to draw. Wow. This is kind of disappointing.
I mean, it's Alpha John thing with Deckish. I mean, this, this is a very strong player. Like, no, I mean, no, no cap. I mean, this guy is like very strong player. So I'm a little surprised by this. Although now I'm now I finds Rook D3, of course. Maybe I should run the king over this way. I'm gonna try to induce C4 here and go Rook A5. I'm trying to induce something. Wow, just he has no interest. Unbelievable. Okay, I guess I'll go here. <laughs> go here to guard the pawn. I mean, I'm trying to do something here. Like anything to. Although, wait, now I'm gonna get C5. Wait, there might be imbalance coming. Wait a second. Now there's a chance, maybe. I mean, chance being a very generic term. I mean, chances, there is not really much of a chance. But again, I mean, maybe if I get the pawns rolling. Okay, let's go e5. If he can't ever trade the... trade the um, G4 is a very good move. If he can't ever... I guess I'll just drop that. Let's go back. Ah. <sighs> I have to be a little bit careful here. I guess I'll go king a5. Wow, just no interest. I guess I'll go here on bishop g7, I mean. No, I'll have to play f6 or f5. Oh, very frustrating though. Fine, let's just go for it. He'll take, I'll take. There's just nothing I can do here, really. Very frustrating. I guess I'll play H5. Yeah, it's unbelievable. This guy, he literally just wants to draw and nothing else. There's nothing I can do. Yeah. It's a funny you thinking of Bailey. I mean, literally just playing for a draw. I'm just kind of shocked. I and mean, I thought he would want to win the tournament rather than just make a draw. I mean, at least he goes rook before and he gives me this chance to get something, I guess. I mean, I have an outside pawn here. I mean, it's not much, but... I play C4, which does give me E4. I go E4 takes B Rook C4, maybe? Oh, did I just blunt? Um, oh, just great. I blundered a pawn. I'm still probably okay, but. Um, go here, I guess. <sighs> Jeez, I mean, seriously? This guy is just that desperate to draw? I mean, this guy literally just like has no interest in trying to win the tournament. Unbelievable. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just pathetic. I mean, it's a thousand dollars and he'd rather draw and take himself out of contention just so I can't win. I 
I would understand that actually if there were like if if there were like 10 prizes I would get it but with like literally three prizes to bizarre truly bizarre yeah yeah I mean I, I just I I don't get it if we were if like if we were on seven and a half like we were seven seven and a half or something I would actually understand but like he needs to win the game like he's he's gonna have no chance of even getting prizes so I just I don't I don't understand the purpose if he if we had half point more one point more it's it makes total sense but here strange he just wants a rating I mean okay but if you're playing if you're playing for rating you shouldn't play title Tuesday actually yeah yeah he's 2900 and he'd rather just like make it so I can't win the tournament rather than where I can't win the tournament but he also gets zero dollars and wastes three hours of his life strange very very strange yeah How many moves have we made? I don't even know. It's an arrogant take. Why is it an arrogant take? I mean, uh, like I've played chess my whole career. If you're a 2600 player and you're playing Title Tuesday, you're playing because you, you have a shot at $1,000. There are almost no tournaments that you can play in where you're going to make a thousand bucks unless um in, unless you win, in which case you can make more. But that's like most tournaments you can't. Um, he scored big on BBY calls. Okay, we get the pawn at least. All right, pick up the 20 seconds. Um, when was the last count? When was the last pawn push? Let's see. King takes f5 is move 120, so move 170. Okay. Oh, uh, what's the eval? It's been 0 0.00 forever. Yeah. yeah all right oh <clears throat> yeah if anyone wants to suggest moves is probably fair at this point it is fair yeah Lagno's in fourth place nice very nice yeah Minlay won um that's what it is this is a contest of 30k people want to see yeah yeah Yay! I think it's Salvatar for the four months appreciate it. Magnus is losing Magnus is losing. Yeah, there we go. All right. Actually, 30,200. Yeah. Place the king on A1. Yeah. Yeah. Um, ah, that's what it is. I'm just shocked. I mean, I'm shocked that he would rather play for no money than, um, than, than, than like take the risk to try and win the tournament. But, I mean, there's just no chance. No chance. For, I mean, maybe there is. Maybe there is because actually the field is pretty thin at the top here. You don't have people running away with it, but still very weird. Very weird from him to do that with the white piece. It's like 2,900 player, 2,650 over the board. Very, very strong player. Thank you so much to Yo Beeps for the two months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah. No, it's just, it's very strange. It's very strange in a situation where only a win is good for either of us. Uh, draw does absolutely nothing. Um, yeah. Yeah, just very strange. Oh, you know what else is better? He could have sacked the bishop and it still was a draw because it was the wrong color pawn. But yeah, all right, you guys, I think that's the end of round. Is that round eight? That's round eight, right? So we're on a break. What happened to my mouse? Okay, that's the end of round eight. So I'm gonna take a break and we'll be right back. No chance 30K of you watching chess. It happens, you guys. What do you want me to say? Chess is big. I, I don't know why everyone, I will say, I, I don't, no one will say this publicly. Um, no one will say this publicly, but um, I, I get this strong sense within the chess community that people want the viewership to fall off. They want chess to die. I, I actually, I, I, I kind of have a suspicion there are a lot of people who are like watching the numbers and hoping month to month that it's going to like fall off a cliff. Bishop G2 and D3. 
I just I have a sneaky suspicion because I remember when we were going down in May we we're going down like in May there were a couple of people who were like chess viewership is way off the cliff like chess is chess is dying and I remember seeing I saw someone post on Facebook and then there were, like a lot of people chime in like it's about time like I saw a lot of people chime in with that anyway whatever let's focus on the chess um play h4 I'm just gonna play h3 so queen c1 bishop h6 I have never gotten to 100k I got to 80 I think my peak was 86k uh, I'll just play here and trade why not yeah no but I mean these were people who were like these were not these were not like beginners these were like strong amateur players and I I just I did notice that and it was a little bit disheartening I'm gonna go g4 I don't know if it's actually a good move or not but I'm gonna play it anyway so why not Yeah, we had 86k. Magnus resigned, not shock him. It was complete lost position. I don't even know if g4 is a good move, honestly, but it got my guy thinking. I also have g5 to undermine the knight and win the pawn in the center of the board because I have this great fianchito and a great knight on c3. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I, there was literally no counterplay for Magnus. Just very strange game. But well played. To be fair, Han, Hans found some... He found I mean I mean it's it's hard because like if I say they were easy then it feels like I'm selling him short I'm being like oh well I mean he didn't do anything special um but I like I thought the King H7 idea was pretty pretty good it made a lot of sense um do I trade and go Bishop F3 or do I I mean I don't know what's going on here let's have some fun F3 loses to Queen G3 Knight B5 is no good I mean so I should take and go like Knight E3 I I really don't know if this is actually good this looks kind of suspicious honestly but we'll see but yeah please watch the Hans interview he's like he'll probably say it was about something time that I win this win some games probably something like that. that that's what I would like to see um my position's kind of kind of mediocre at best here Knight of 496 is a move um takes takes and like hmm strange queen f4 is like I mean I think queen f4 is the move but I really don't want to play it but I think I have to play it or wait did I just blunder 95 no I've got d4 luckily <sighs> very close to huge blunder by me okay so we, we're gonna play this actually I can also take like a Magnus Calrissian but I think I'll just take and set let's just trade and take um and I have Bishop B3 and I should be okay sorry wait did I just say Magnus Calrissian sorry I meant uh Magnus Carlson sorry um all right um yeah what was that by me okay let's um yeah <laughs> yeah yeah I, I think I meant Lando right Lando Calrissian let's go C3 and take yeah yeah <laughs> okay I, I Bishop F3 back I, I think I can just go here maybe this is okay with king f1 okay, so I guess we just play chess now I'll go like I'll also go b4 here I'm gonna play b4 I'm gonna try to expand on the queen side here I, I don't know what's going on it's a very weird position by the way I guess I'll go knight f3 now it's kind of really strange end game what's the the dis the advantage for or not advantage but the imbalance here is that he's got this pawn whereas I have a C pawn basically that's the imbalance so I guess I'll go here and King F1 I know Magnus lost to um Hans I'm aware of that you guys thank you I'm taking go King F1 C4 is also maybe a move here C4 no C4 can't be right B5 doesn't look right Rook C1 maybe Rook C1 takes takes Knight before seven probably the best imbalance I'm gonna get honestly let's go here and take I guess Yay! takes was also a move takes and king of one but I think this is the only way I get an imbalance and actually here I have to win a draw is not getting it done it takes so I assume I just take Hmm, maybe not. Hmm. 
I also have F4, maybe. I also have Rook B. I mean, there's so many options here. It's tricky. Wait, A3. I'm thinking too long also. Wait a second. What am I doing? I hope I didn't just blunder. So G7's hanging. I'm moving way too slow. Uh, Rook C8? And consider that move. Oh, wait. <sighs> Losing way too much time. I'm 93. What am I doing? What, what am I doing, actually? What the heck? What the heck was that? Crazy, we got the win. Crazy game. Thank you so much to Squirrel Bait for the two months. Thank you to Jibs for the Prime. Crazy. All right, we got the win. Seven and a half. Um, Minlay also on seven and a half. And what else do we have? Crazy game. All right, here we go. Oh, fudge. I get Wesley here. Seriously? <sighs> Fine, let's just... I mean, this is a terrible pairing with both of us needing a win here. Yeah, we both need a win. Make the draw. I... I don't think a draw is good enough. There are too many people on seven and a half who can also get to eight and a half. And my tie break is not like anything special. So, yeah. Hmm. Oh, he wants to just play. I really don't, uh, whatever. Let's just play it. This obviously is very dry, but you know what? Uh, be careful and don't look down. Thank you. Um, think about which line I want to play. I'll play Knight BD2. Kramnik played this against the computers back in the old days before we were much worse than computers. Ooh, heaven is a place called Earth. I can play B3. B4 is a move. Um, Knight D4 is maybe a move, but I think I'm just going to play slow chess, like Bishop B2 and Rook C1. Again, I also play it like a Bond Cloud. I have the King on E2 versus the King on G8 in an endgame, so hopefully the Bond Cloud King is the reason I win this game. But yeah, I mean, I assume Jossman, Bornick play. And the thing is, if I draw the game, there, there's just too many people who can catch up. Oh. I don't know it still seems right because so I have this in A4. Yeah, I mean, this is just very drosh. I'm trying to think if there's any way that I can confuse the situation. Yeah, it's just an aw this is just an absolutely awful pairing on um on the scores that we have. B4 is a move, but I don't like it. Bishop D4, maybe? Not very attract. I mean, nothing's very attractive here for either of us. What about knight d4, maybe? Also, I'm thinking too long. I'll go here. 
I'm assuming I want the rooks on the two center squares. I mean, this is obviously just very drawish, but whatever. Okay, it goes to knight c5, which I'm actually kind of happy to see, because now I think, now at least, I kind of pretend to play for something maybe with king f1 and bishop e2 and b4. Yeah, I can kind of pretend a little bit here. Do I play bishop? Yay! I think I'm gonna do this anyway. Whatever. If I lose, I lose. I, I gotta try something here. I mean, if I get knight b3. Okay, let's go here. Knight 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 b3, of course. The problem is it's just so drawish. I guess I'll go knight a5, maybe. Probably should have played knight e1 and bishop f3 instead, but whatever. No, yeah, this is not very good. I don't know why I did this. Um, also take and play knight d4, which is maybe an interesting approach. Knight a5, maybe? Let's go knight a5. Maybe I'll play knight e5 or something. I don't know. I mean, both knights are bad. Okay, this bishop e4, which I'm a little surprised by. I have knight e5 here as a question. Knight e5? I don't think I have it. I also have to kind of make a move soon. Let's go here, I guess. And if I get knight d3, I mean, maybe there's play. Basically, I'm, I'm arguing that his knight is very bad. Question is, do I play f3 or f4? I can play both. I think f3 must be right. But then my knight's bad too. Okay, let's go f3. Eight. I can play knight d3, e5, bishop c5, maybe. Let's do it. Why not? Because e5, bishop c5 is my idea. If e4, I think I can just take. The pre move this. I mean, the thing is, he's got a very bad bishop on a8 potentially, but still very, very hard to judge. He's using a lot of time here, which is interesting. So I think Wesley's a little bit uncomfortable. I, I mean, he's obviously completely fine objectively. Okay, he goes there. Of course, I take, and then I play e4. Because knight c3, I just go king e3. And now his bishop is very bad on this diagonal. There are no squares. He's just staring at a dead diagonal. He's six now. Knight c5 is always a move. Um. Wait, I have knight b... Wait, wait, wait. I think I go here, and then I go knight b3. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Actually, wait a second. Go here. Wait, wait a second. I think Wesley made a mistake. Yeah, Wesley made a mistake. Now he's in some trouble here. Knight a6. I don't think I missed something. Yeah, but now wait. First of all, I have check. Yeah, I, I should be better here. I also have knight b7, maybe? Wait, h5? Okay. I'm just going to get my king out of the danger zone. Go here and take... And mate. There we go. Checkmate. Good game, Wesley. Thanks so much to Snares for the five months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Snares. Appreciate it. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, Eric Stream and Game died. He lost a minute, but he still beat Mechanic. Wow. Okay, so I'm on eight and a half. Um, I mean, that mildly makes up for what happened on Saturday, Sunday. Mildly, mildly. But we got to win. I assume I played Bornick in the last round, and I'm going to be white or black. Probably I get black, which is not good. Yeah. Yeah. A4 was a draw? Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Stinginator just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. I think it's Stinginator for 23. Apparently 43 A4 was a blunder. Why? Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, because he can go back to E3. I only thought he could go here. Oh wait, no, wait. But wait a second, wait. Oh, I have to go G3. Oh, so actually, A4 is a huge blunder. Hmm. But uh, you know what's funny? If I play Rook G1, I think he actually does play Rook D1. That's what's funny about this. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. So I get Bornick. Bornick, yeah, obviously for Bornick, it's hard to feel. It's hard not to feel good for him because after what happened um, in the RCC, like, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's hard. It's hard not to feel good for him because that that's pretty insane. So I think even if Bornick had, let's just say Bornick was uh, was one of the wild cards, even if he loses both matches, I think he still gets at least like four thousand or something. What happened? He got snubbed in the Rapid Chess Championship Grand Finale. Hmm. I, I mean, a draw is no good here. I'm, I've got to play for the win. I have a good tiebreak actually. If I draw this game, I would probably get guaranteed third at, at minimum. But who cares? You just got to play chess. Um, I guess I'll just play this one. Why not? Let's go here. Taking castles. I also play a6, but I'm just going to castle. Ninety-five logical approach. Although, actually, wait. Do I have queen c7 here? I don't want to spend too much time. Actually, I don't want. I don't want to get too deep into the weeds here. I think it's just a Miggy for the 15. Okay, so he takes. I mean, of course, I take with a queen. Um, A6 is a move. Bishop D7 is a move. B6 is a move. I don't want to spend too much time. So I think I'm just going to be standard here with B6. And then drop back and play like Bishop Bishop B7. I think it's what sure for three Alpi. I mean, because if I draw this game and Eric doesn't win, I mean, my tiebreak is so good here that I'm guaranteed at least third with a draw. But whatever. Who is Eric playing? Just so I have some idea, you guys. Um, do you have a six b five? Do you have knight d five? I mean, I figure I want to keep peace on the board somehow. And a six and b five. I mean, in a, in a normal game, I would go a six b five in like two seconds. But here, I can't really do it. So I think I, I think I just have to play normal chess. Maybe not. Maybe let's do it anyway. I mean, I have this and Bishop D5. I also have Knight D5. I should be slight, very slightly better, I think. Very, very slightly better. But not much more than that. Let's C4. I'm actually kind of surprised by that move. Over here, I mean... The good news is I really should not be able to lose this position now with the isolated pawn. Only question is, can I win this position? Bishop d5, rook c8. I mean, he's got the weak pawn, and his bishops are okay, but they're not wonderful. Especially this dark bishop, because there's really no scope. Yeah, queen b3, I kind of expect that. I mean, bishop d5 is logical. Bishop c6, maybe? I think I'm going to go here, and then bishop c6. Let's go here, and then bishop b5. Try to play for the end game with knight b5. I mean, he might be able to save this. Maybe he draws it, but I don't know. I feel like this is the right the right approach by me. Um, he goes there. I guess I'll go here. Just trying to force some kind of end game where I can play on. I know rook c8 is right, but it's starting to look a little bit unpleasant for white. I have to admit, it feels touch unpleasant. 
He's gonna go rook c1. He's trying to trade off. Um, uh, I guess I'll just go here. Hopefully, that's not a blunder. It doesn't look like it. Again, I do have to be careful, though, here a little bit. Let's see. I have knight d5 somewhere in here. I'm also way up on clock, which is probably the most important thing about this end game. He's thinking for a long time here. Wow, he plays bishop d3? Honestly, I'm kind of shocked by that move, I have to admit. Wow, I'm really shocked by that decision by him. I mean, this is still a draw with perfect play. But, I mean, it's going to be hard to, I don't know, against, I don't know. Question is, what do I push? I think I'll go. How do I enter? Okay, I don't want to waste all my time here. Um, G6 is obviously wrong. H5 I actually like here. Like there, I guess. I mean, this is just a little bit scary. It's a bad bishop versus a good knight. I mean, this is an end game that. I mean, with perfect play, this is a draw. Make no mistake about it. But again, with no time on the clock, I'd be I'd be pretty scared to play this. Um, go here. I'd actually be very scared to play this. Honestly, that's a good move. Um. Let's just go back. I have all the time in the world. That's the second part of the equation. Um, hmm. H4 is a move, but it looks sketchy. I don't like it. I think I'm just going to reroute my knight, probably. Reroute the knight to one of these squares where it can target the pawn. Wait, what was that? I, yeah, what am I doing? Hey, let's just go back. Let's just reset and take a deep breather. Take a second to breathe and then focus. Thanks so much, Troop Diver, for the prime. Appreciate it. Thanks so much, Troop, troop Driver. Queen B6 is also a move. Oh! <laughs> That's a threefold? That might be the weirdest. Wow. That might be the weirdest threefold I've ever seen. Wow, I didn't even I wasn't even aware of that. Good for him. Okay. That's very poor, though, because black is better here. How much better am I? It's much better, yeah. Wow, I got careless. Okay, let's see if Eric can actually lose. I, I mean, I want to feel bad about it, but I can't feel bad. I can't really feel bad. Bornick didn't see it coming either. He just played it as a twofold. Yeah. Let's watch Eric's game. I mean, it's disappointing, but I like I said, I can't feel too bad about it. I think Eric's going to win. Eric might win title Tuesday. Yeah. Sorry. I don't do that a lot. No, I mean, like a threefold, a normal threefold does happen, but a, an unusual one is pretty rare for me. A queen g4. Wait, isn't queen g4 checkmate? What? 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 I mean, Eric's still going to win, I think, but d4... I'm so I mean Eric's still gonna win, but I'm so confused. Bornick's still gonna win. I'll get I'll get third on tie breaks, but blah, blah. I should have won this game, but you know what's funny? Actually, if I'd won this game, I would have gotten second. Because Eric had a better tie break than me. Yeah. Eric Eric had a better tie break. Yeah. All right. All right. So Eric wins by checkmate. Nice win for him. I mean, miss queen g4, but you know what? It's better that this happens than I win the game because I would have gotten second after Eric. So at least now, like now, Bordnick is happy. He gets snubbed from uh, he gets snubbed from the RCC. Misses out on five thousand bucks. Um, uh, misses out on five thousand bucks and uh, and at least five thousand bucks. And now he can at least like be happy here. Am I drunk? No, I'm not drunk. Why would I be drunk? Yeah. I could have won it for Eric, 
I, I'd rather win it for I'd rather win it for for Bort for Bortnik if I'm being honest. I, I would. I would. Yeah. Alright, let's let's get going.